Hi, this is Kumaran. In today's video, we will discuss about 8086 emulator. The emulator means it's a software tool which will execute all the programs, whatever the processor 86 will execute. So here we will uh, uh, type the program and get the result same as what the microprocessor will do. So let's go on to this uh, emulator and uh, type a program and get the result. The emulator software uh, you can get from the internet otherwise I can give the link in the description you can download and install straight forward installation. So the application file you can uh, double click and install in your uh, program that's it. So while opening the software emulator 8086 we will have the window like here. So in that you will type directly you can type the program. So for example uh, we will take a task addition of two 16 bit numbers because it's a 16 bit processor we will take the two 16 bit number that we will uh, subtract with borrow. So that's the assumption. In 86 microprocessor we have to take uh, code uh, from uh, memory address with the help of uh, direct addressing for example move uh, dx comma the square bracket for example uh, 2000 memory address so here we have to mention that h hexadecimal but while typing in the kit it is by default hexadecimal no need of h so we assume that 2000 uh, have the first data the second data you can have uh, 2002 because uh, 16 bit means it will take uh, two memory address to hold one data so move uh, then any any two register you can use here for uh, arithmetic operations move cx comma the square bracket 2002 hertz So now one more register we have to initialize to count the borrow because uh, the borrow may be 0 or 1 only two option to count that the another register I am taking. So I am using that to move AX to initialize that with the 0 AX comma 0 okay. So these are all initializations taking input and uh, now you subtract both sub uh, dx comma cx so which means that uh, dx minus cx answer in dx a difference in dx then the borrow in carry flag so now we have to check the carry flag j and c jump on no carry means you can skip skip or uh, store any label you can use the label is not mandatory you can use any even your name also you can use jump no carry skip suppose carry occurs we have to write 0 1 on the ax register for that we can use inc ax then uh, we have to take two's complement of the difference because when you subtract larger minus smaller you will get the positive answer but uh, smaller minus larger means you will get the negative answer negative answer means in the form of two's complement we will have to take it back the positive number we will use that negate we have a direct instruction here negate a dx so it will take two's complement of your difference in the case of negative answer so now uh, we will uh, now we have completed the task now we have to store the result the difference in uh, dx register borrow in ax register so use the instruction move space uh, 2004 hatch comma dx the difference then the carry move uh, square bracket uh, 2006 hatch comma ax now stop the process halt here the store label is there the local label we have to here in this in section because suppose no carry means no need to increment the carry and no need to take two's complement of the difference also which means larger minus smaller so we have to skip two steps 
increment ax and uh, negate bx so use that st over store the new uh, colon okay so that's the program here so now uh, save the program without saving also you can do but uh, want to save yeah, so dot asm because it's assembly program use that dot asm okay so that's the code now we have to run Uh, run means it will uh, compile the program here some error what undeclared label jnc store okay let's check what it is there uh, st o r e i think uh, what is so here Here uh, the program to be typed uh, so here uh, the label should be typed uh, before this program it seems okay so now it's okay it seems save this uh, run so while uh, running that if the uh, no error means it will uh, open like this so this is the emulator window in this window we will uh, uh, verify uh, view go to the memory so this is the memory uh, we will verify here okay so the opcodes are uh, available here in this see, this is the memory address the opcodes are uh, stored for the, all the instructions then here uh, check at the opcodes so whatever the program we return feel that all the upwards have been generated on 00, 0 memory address so in the same memory window only we have to verify then now we can take that uh, uh, flags also all the flag register you can verify while executing it will be useful to check whether carry flag is set or not like you can check then one more also we can take uh, Uh, logical arithmetic and logic unit so here AL also you can take so these are all the windows you can verify here uh, before uh, going to execute the program we have to give the input isn't it the address we have given 2000 so enter 2000 and enter it will go to that address so give some number so I'm giving that uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's a 1 16 bit number. Another number is uh, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, like I'm giving 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can give any two 16 bit numbers. So these two numbers I am taking here. Let's execute a single step means one by one it will do. Check the uh, registers here, all the registers are available here. A single step means one by one it will execute it will take the data from 2000 memory edge to dx dx means here 3412 will copy to dx register let's execute 3412 because memory always stored that lower byte first higher byte next so in that format only it will store okay the next one is taking to series register uh, 67 now it will subtract that uh, dx minus cx okay smaller minus larger you will check the flag also what the carry flag is there before subtraction ax also to be cleared by default it will be zero only but the previous program might have written some garbage value so that's why we are clearing it okay next step we will move on uh, ax cleared now we will subtract dx minus cx see here dx minus cx carry flag also one suppose uh, no carry means it will skip but carry is one here it won't skip it will increment ax and the negate px so this is the answer in negative that to be taken to its complement and uh, ax to be 0 1 to indicate as power see here 
a x incremented then the this to be taken uh, negate to complement see this is the difference so uh, 7 minus 4 6 minus 3 5 minus 2 4 minus 1 by d. for our data it is all 3 uh, 3 that's why we are getting answer like so these things we have to write on the next two uh, four memory address let us do next dx content written here in this then the ax content next two bytes x content 0 1 so that's it about the uh, program of uh, subtraction of two uh, six bit numbers with to borrow i hope it is uh, clear uh, likewise if you need all the programs uh, you can comment i can uh, go through all the programs so here the minus is indicated by the borrow then the difference is indicated in this then here look at the alu how it is performing to uh, subtraction the final answer everything you can get it so that also you can verify uh, likewise you can execute all the programs if you have any uh, clarification or doubt you can comment on this uh, you can clarify uh, thank you so much